What you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's another one of those police central e crime unit ones, which is the Metropolitan Police for the UK. And as you can see, it's a uh, same old, same old really. Posting your IP up saying that you've been visiting websites containing pornography, child pornography, and whatnot. And it's a legal activity, and they've blocked your computer. And to get out of it, you'll have to pay the £100. Now, as we know, these are all fake, and uh, what they're after you to do is pay for it. And then once you've paid it, you'll be released from the ransom. And uh, it is all all fake, so don't fall for it. And I'm going to share to remove these uh, with Fireball's re uh, recovery scan tool on a USB thumb drive. Now there's loads of ways of removing these, as you've seen me removing them in the past. But I just wanted to show you how you can use that tool to remove them as well. It gives you another option on how to remove them. So let's reboot the system into our uh, Windows Advanced option and so we can go into repair the computer and we're going to remove it from there so we've been tapping F8 on the keyboard to get into our advanced boot options and what we want to do here it, just for a change we're going to go into repair your computer and we're going to be booting with our uh, actual thumb drive in the computer so we can actually access that and run uh, Farball's recovery scan tool As I said, there's many different ways of removing these. Uh, this is just another way. Okay, so I'm going to go next here. And uh, put the password in if you've got one. I don't have one, so I'm going to click OK. And then from here, we're going to go to command uh, prompt now our thumb drive I've got plugged in is F so if I just type DIR I can see that this is my thumb drive and I've got access to my frst.exe file so I'm going to run this so I'm going to fire this up And again, what we're going to do is just leave all these uh, ticks in for the registry services drivers, uh, known DLLs and drivers MD5 and list files and folders. Run a scan on this. Okay, so that's the scan now complete. And it's created an frst.txt file. So I'm going to click OK here. And then we can uh, close this off now. And what we need to do here now is change our directory to our C directory. And there's our Windows directory there. So I want to change directory now to Windows System32. And then we're going to type in Notepad here. keyboards at it I think but we're going to type in notepad keep sticking and then from here I'm going to go to uh, file and open and then computer and there you can see my pen drive that's plugged in my computer here so I'm going to go into here and there you can see we have our FRST open this up now we can just scan through this the actual infections now I wouldn't advise uh, home users to do this this is only for sort of technicians really this method but it's a really good method if you're a technician to root out any issues now you can see registry keys here okay so what I can see here now is we're going to go through this and I can see an infection here there is one location here I can see this is from probably an older type infection and I'm going to copy that but what I want to do first is open up another notepad I'm going to type start in there I'm going to paste that one in again I can see another infection here file this is another file that's got an infection on it and we're just going to copy this one now this is in the registry section
So all I need to do here is push enter and then go on to a new line. Again, these are very fiddly to do and I wouldn't advise own users to do this method. It's really mainly for technicians, um, but it is a very effective way of removing them. And there's another one there I can see. So what we want to do now is keep coming down here Okay, one month created files and folders. So anything that's been created, I can see here. Uh, this is another one here. Oh, I just cut that. I'm going to paste that there. Sorry. So I'm just going to quickly copy this one. Again, there's another one here. We're going to get rid of this one too. So let's just come through here and see. And I can see another file here, which is related to the other one. But this one is an actual file and not an actual registry file. So you can see these are registry files. And we're going to come down and add this to our list, which all ties in. Just work our way through here. You can see something here. I'm just going to remove this as well. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is three months modified files just to make sure that there is nothing that's been previously added in that time. Now this is another important area if you've got an infection that's been on the system for a while you want to be checking this area as well. But I know this is pretty clean so I'm not going to skip through this a little bit here. The next thing you want to be checking is to make sure all these are legit which they are tells you there again we're going to go through okay so there was one more file that I wanted to add which I didn't see there which was this one we added up earlier which was this and all I need to do here is just actually copy this part here which is for that file location. It's a registry key, but I also want to remove. And I think that's that one. So we're going to type end here, and then we want to save this as fixed list dot text file. I'm going to save that on my pen drive because this is where we're running it from. Click save. We can now close this off. And what we need to do is change our directory back to our F drive because we need to run the program. And then I need to run my program, so it's frst.exe. And then now we're in the same directory and we're on the program, we can click on the fix here and it will run the fixes. Okay, so we've got the fix complete. Now if I wanted to we could have a look at this. It would mean I'd have to go back to the location there and I think I'll just quickly do it just to make sure that it's all clean. And uh, we're going to go back there, type notepad. And I'm just going to quickly look at the log itself. This is the fixed log. Okay it says it's all been done which is good deleted successfully so that's all good so let's reboot the system and see how we get on so I'm going to close all this off now don't need to save that I'm going to restart
and there you have the desktop back so a good thing to do then would be once you've got back up to the desktop and you're free from that ransom would be to run programs like Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and uh, TDSS Killer and we'll just give uh, Malwarebytes a quick go and I want to empty the recycle bin here I'm going to do a quick update and we'll do a quick scan okay so we've got two more detections here let's have a look at these okay they're registry value keys and we can remove those so if I'd have gone through that with a finer tooth comb that program we would have probably found these um, but because I was recording I did it pretty quick but the main task was to remove the ransomware and it's done that successfully and uh, there's our log we can keep that if we wish and then I would run other scans on the system just to make sure it's fully cleaned like TDSS Killer and Hitman Pro but that's about it really that's how you remove ransomware with uh, Fireball's recovery scan tool it's a pretty useful tool to have it's probably not for the home user but it's a, a very powerful tool for a technician to remove stuff from the system even if it's not booting okay so I hope you liked it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also rate and favorite me videos and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. If you've got any more video requests that you've got uh, that you want me to make, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make them videos for you. So thanks again for sticking around, guys. Thanks again. Bye for now.